we have been running these shows for more than three years. What is the difference? What's the difference between now and then? We, we are in an industry that is very much directed by fashion. And that makes it hard sometimes to see the larger trends. And many of these larger trends are about the same as they were then. Um, but many of the things that were kind of starting to catch up, take on, like cloud or AI or so, three years ago, are mainstream now. Uh, so what are what are the few things that are starting to to catch on now? I think that is uh, that is the real question. What do you think? I, th I think that it's the culture in the companies that is the biggest challenge, not the technology we use. Mm -hmm. well, can you give an example? You want to change today because your business is disrupted. Mm. But in order to change, you have to do in another ways that you have done before. What's working before is not always working today. So actually, that's a very good point, um, Kasimir. Uh, disruption was very, very much a big thing. Uh, and innovation and so on a few years ago. It is getting smaller. Not, not because it has disappeared, but because the, the metaphor of, of disruption and innovation has not been very useful for, for companies, I think. A lot of customers are telling me that, yeah, yeah, you know, innovation, we did that. You know, you spend a few millions, you do a few weeks and, and, uh, of a POC, and then you have a POC, and it's kind of, it never leads anywhere. Mm. It's just small things. It's small things, and it, it kind of, doesn't lead anywhere. So I think that, that, that the area has matured. And it's not that it's not happening, it's not that it's not happening anymore. It's just so ingrained what, in what we're doing that we're not noticing. Uh, so it's like uh, the new smartphones. Yeah, it's a new smartphone, but what? It, it's not much news anymore. Is it? Isn't it? Well, you know how I and you are. Oh, okay, but there, there, a lot of things are happening in smartphones, like like uh, dual cameras. Yeah. Right. And, and and this is a Motorola Moto. It has these uh, uh, smart uh, uh, mods. So so there is a, this is a battery mod. There are decorative mods. There is a Hasselblad camera mod. There are. Um, there is a projector mod, so you can project 70-inch uh, uh, screen, and so on. So that that is kind of an innovative thing, but mm -hmm. but it's gradual improvements. Gradual improvements, small improvements, but they kind of add up. And then, of course, a lot of the improvements are in the software, yeah. as I mentioned, uh, as I showed you. That um, it's telling me, well, out of these, this sequence that you took, this is yeah. the best one. So, so that's um, that, that's an improvement, and that's uh, come to phones. Another another one is that uh, the uh, apps are better and better, much better. So, so that it is becoming less and less clear why anyone would want to have a PC when they can have a phone or a tablet. Yeah. What would you uh, choose? I have a PC for work, but I don't have a PC. Personally, and I don't have a tablet either. Mm -hmm. This uh, six-inch screen is big enough for most of my needs. And if I don't, if I need something more, I just cast the screen to uh, to my TV. And I think it's rather similar because what I use my computer till at home is either typewriting because I want a real keyboard. Mm -hmm. I have a Bluetooth keyboard. Yeah, and uh, image working with video and images because I want a large screen. 
Yes. And, and uh, the software is very demanding hardware-wise. But the question is, when will the phone be faster than your uh, laptop? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, Adobe uh, Lightroom, for instance, uh, don't do the calculations on the phone when you do edits. It, it stores the sequence of edits. And, well, it, there's a preview done in the phone, but the full version is done in the cloud. So it sends the commands to cloud. Yeah. And so it's a client-server application, more or less. It's a client-server application. And, and when we look at, for instance, video editing in a larger scale, it is often done the same way with, with uh, just a client, and then there's a, a video editing. Uh, you have a render farm. A render farm. Yeah, so, for a large CGI. Exactly, exactly. So, mm. And now? now uh, you, not just for CGI, for any video editing. No, not yet. Not yet. It's a very traditional line of business, that also. But uh, I think it last week, Adobe said that they will have the full Photoshop on the tablets. Yes. So uh, when this is published, we probably know more about it. Yes, but 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 it, it it's really marking that people are moving away from PCs, and and when I talk to not with with colleagues uh, in IT but with uh, friends and relatives, they have often not used their laptop in the last year or three months. They do everything they need to do on their phone. Mm. And so it's taking fi pictures, reading the news, sending mails, messages, mm. making the banks. Paying your bills, yes. Yeah. Yes, so, so, so most things can be done. Uh, of course, uh, editing, uh, I mean, writing stuff, but often you don't write stuff because, because you send uh, video yeah. or audio. And so, on. so you just write short sentences. So it's, um, and that short sentence is uh, written on a phone, because then you have it always with you. Exactly, exactly. And because you, you store your documents in cloud, they're always available yeah. on the phone. And, and now most of it is compatible also across platforms. Yeah. So the same application works on, on iPhone or PC or mm. Android. So you're never left without your applications. Yeah. So the consumer, they have embraced the cloud. They have gone left the PC. Mm -hmm. And the companies, they are stuck in the legacy. In terms of client, well, most, uh, most corporate applications are moving towards a uh, web-based user interface. And that makes them much more compatible with uh, being run in the phone. So I, 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 it's happening there as well. Yeah, but not as fast. And speed is everything now. Let me give you a slow answer to that. Uh, speed is everything in the important areas. You have to prioritize some areas and have speed there. Yeah. You don't need speed everywhere. Uh -huh. But what you do need is a good user experience for your corporate users because they're used to a really good experience on their phone. And, and when they don't get that uh, at work. They will get very frustrated. Yes. So you're, you're not competing with you know, paper and pen like in the 70s. You're competing with really, really, really good consumer applications. Yeah, that uses the cloud, that uses the AI have mm. better security because they are new and designed for privacy. Mm. Sometimes. Yeah. So that it's a challenge for the IT departments. A lot of IT departments are asking this question, how do we stay relevant when the business can just go out and buy stuff on the cloud, on, on town? Why, why, how can we keep charging uh, 1,000 euros for a laptop when, when they, uh, our users can buy a fully functional Chromebook for uh, 200 euros? Can we, uh, what, what can we really bring when everything comes to the cloud? 
But what, what's our value? What's our value? But mm. it is about making it work together, about being secure, about being future oriented, so that you don't paint yourself in a corner. And that uh, those things are still needed. So they have a challenge. We have a challenge. We all have a challenge. Yeah.